I can remember when we used to come out here as kids, you know, 9, 10, 11, 12. We used to cycle out here on our bikes. And we used to, we did used to get quite scared by the trees actually, they used to frighten us. And when I first came out here on my own walking, when I first done it by myself, literally came to Holford and walked through the woods, in the beginning I, I was a bit scared because sometimes it looks like they're moving. You know, I was quite nervous, believe it or not, to walk through here on my own. But then I thought, no, these trees... They've been here since I was a small child. Some of them, they know me. They've seen me all grow and grow up, bring my own children here. No, they're not going to hurt me. So now I walk here and I feel I'm among friends with the trees. Trying to save Worldbury Woods, by the way, trees. Some people want to chop the trees down over there. To look at the archaeology, can you believe it? Well, so much for the 25 degrees, everyone. They didn't say it would be clear all day, I must admit. I knew that there could be cloud today. So I'm not totally disappointed. In fact, it's suited me quite well that I'm not getting overheated, to tell the truth. And I'm, I'm making good time at the moment, but anything can change. Anything can change. <sighs> like I said, if I've got to kill a bit of time when I get back to uh, Bicknoller Village, I can um, have a wander around the church again. the pubs open, why not have a shandy? So here we are folks, this is uh, Holford, we're going back towards the green now and a sad moment for me is that for six years, up until 2000 and right up to 2019, January was the last visit I did with Alberta, my van, for six years I was coming here with my van. And when I was walking back here, I knew there was hot water and a cup of tea and a piece of cake waiting for me. Warm clothing if I needed it. I was coming out here in all weathers, parking up, going off, coming back and my van will be there. Right then, had a small stop at the green. Um, quarter of an hour. Now I'm walking towards our fox and house and then I'll go up and back. That's the plan for this afternoon. I reckon it'll be it's gonna be more like the half past six. Um because I mean I haven't stopped walking. Just time just goes whoo, like that, you know. And I've got a hill, I've got a couple of hills to get up and all. So I think I'll probably be going possibly down the way I came up. So I think it's quicker. I think it's quicker. I don't think I've got time to make any manoeuvres today. And I wasn't slow. I wasn't slow in... Um, there's a little bridge hidden in there. I wasn't slow on my walk. Um, now last time when I came, a year ago, I went up there. I went up that way. But today I'm going this way, so it's a little bit longer because I'm going towards our fox and house. There's the dog pound that was donated to the village by John Lancelot Brereton. Ancient dog pound. Owners of old foxen since the 15th century. Yeah, I've, 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 this has all been videoed before. All what I'm doing is on past videos, but never in 2021. Um, so it is a nice walk round. I hope I've got time. I mean, we're coming up to three hours 
Quantock Greenway. We're coming up to three hours. <sighs> Nearly. It's half past one. Um, it is two and a half hours since... <coughs> Since I I got off the bus about ten to yeah it was and then by the time I started walking by the time I started walking by the time I started walking it was um eleven o'clock and it was a long long hike up that hill it wasn't particularly awful. It was a bit like going up the quarry hill that I did the week before. It was a bit similar really, but the scenery was different. So, uh, and that took a good hour. That might have even been hillier. I've got to come this way because I've got to see a fox and house. They're doing it up. That probably has a work van gone by. And I am I am striding out. Which means I'm you know I'm having a good walk. I'm not dawdling. Now I was talking about Roman steps, which is head down and small steps, and then I I sort of made up another type of step. Which is when you're going downhill and you have to be really careful when it's steep and lots of like loose stones. So I, I called that Chinese steps. You know, because like you see these Chinese women and they do these little tiny steps. And uh, that just crossed my mind. Chinese steps. Now stride, this is striding. I can hear the river flowing down there. This is all Holford Glen, by the way, down here, where the Huguenot weavers came, took advantage of the fast-flowing streams. All I'm hoping is they don't stop me going up through here, because um, I don't think they can. I think it is an open track, this one, because there's other people that live further along. Yeah, I wanted to have a little quiet time on the green. Um, that was important and all sorts of thoughts were flowing through my mind about about the green, about childhood, about family. Um, yeah, it's sort of good and sad at the same time, those sort of memories for me. Um, until my, Jude, my sister Jude died, I was, I was like full of joy going up there and I, I still am but not quite as much because, I, I felt, because of the sadness that still lingers at the moment losing her and that for her time really <sighs> environmentally taken <sighs> yeah she would have done all this she, well, she did all this she did all this, so where that car there's parked is a beautiful view from there. And quite often their deer can be seen that way as well. I don't know if anyone's in it. It's one of those four by four things, isn't it? A great big thing. Right, I'm going to turn off for a little while now. This is me now, heading to Old Fox and House and making my way en route back to Bitnoller, okay? Over now.